hello. My thing was super slow. This phone that I use tape on right now is so slow. Good thing I switched phones, I guess. So, welcome to Losing with Shannon. This is another one of my videos where I'm trying to do more like generic, non way in Monday sort of videos. So, right now the baby's asleep, so we're crossing our fingers and we'll get through this one. We got through S. Let's get through E. So, E. E meals is going to be your carb meals. So, that means you will have carbs and not a lot of fats. So, Oh, maybe that smell was horrible. I didn't talk about the carbs you could have and the numbers. I think I'm going to have to retape that. Okay, I'm going to tape this one. We're going to redo this one. So, for email, you can have up to 45 grams of carbs for your fats in the email. You can have 5 grams of fat. So, that's like 1 teaspoon of a fat. It's not a lot. But remember, you're gonna your protein's gonna anchor the meal together. So now, how do you build an e meal? So now you don't have a choice like you did with E S. You can't go lean or fat. You can only go ultra lean. I do a lot of the cooking it, draining it, and rinsing it because I am super broke. Then after you add your lean meat, you add your carb up to 45 grams. So, you know, we're talking fruit, rice, um, beans or sweet potatoes, not whites. Whites, though, on occasion, but like, like very rarely on occasion. Then you add your min minimal fat. So that's like a drizzle, five grams, one little teaspoon of whatever. Like in little soup, I'll add a tablespoon for, you know, the six, eight servings in there of fat to go in it. And then you'll want to add the f optional fuel pull foods. So we're talking veggies. Load them up. I really like putting a lot of uh, the fuel pull, a lot of the emails on a salad. Like cowboy grub on a salad. Uh, chicken fried double rice sometimes on a salad. Uh, and stuff like that. So you can eat carbs on a trip healthy mama. Just don't combine them with fats. Actually, this morning, I had an S helper because I wanted a piece of bread with my fatty meal. So, I think the thing that makes Trim Healthy Mama special is because we are given limits on the carbs. So, you don't gorge out on carbs. So, you know that feeling when you bake a lot and you're like, Ugh. you don't get that feeling on Trim Healthy Mom because a lot of times we're eating a lot of fat, um, carbs doing that, and because we have that natural limit to keep it under the 45 grams of fat. Now, issue with emails is it's hard to eat out on emails because the breads need to be sprouted and or soured, like true soured. It's so hard to find a true soured bread on plant. So... The only things that don't have to be sprouted or soured is whole rye, whole barley, oats, or quinoa. So, so things like pretzels, you'd have to find sprouted or bread sprouted, blah, blah, blah. And you can have corn, but keep your portion size small uh, and stuff like that. Popcorn. <sighs> popcorn, everyone makes it as a crossover a lot. And even the Skinny Pops technically a crossover. And you know what? I feel like I lost weight this weekend when I had a crossover with Skinny Pops. So. so remember, when you switch fuels between E and S meal, you want to make sure you have three hours apart so then you are not accidentally crossing over like I mentioned in one video. Uh, they also, you know, prefer you to find GM, non-GMO, organic, whatever. I don't, because I'm broke. So, do what you want. Pray over it, say. Uh, they would prefer you to soak oatmeal and stuff like that. I don't. Uh, check page 48 in the plan book if you want to know more information about it. I don't. Unless I'm, like, making something where the recipe says soak it. 
Uh, so your friendly e foods is avoid fatty meats. So you're talking chicken breast, tuna packed in water, salmon. So you want, want to make sure your salmon's under five grams of fat. All other fish that's not fried. I have a funny story where I asked for grilled fish and I got fried catfish. And I didn't realize until I ate half of it because I was just so used to eating fried fish. Turkey breast, lean ground meat, or chicken, lean deli meats, ground meats that are drained and rinsed in hot water. <sighs> Egg whites. So, now you have dairy. You want 0% plain Greek yogurt, non-fat, regular, plain yogurt, plain low-fat, non-fat kefir, 1% cottage cheese or 2%, because I think I can... I can only find Daisy at 2%. Uh, reduce pack, ricotta cheese. Uh, one fourth cup servings though in E settings because uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit more fat. Skim mozzarella cheese, which honestly, that's garnish amounts only. And I do part skim because I can't find totally skim mozzarella cheese. Reduced fat, 2% hard cheese, garnish amounts only. Like, we're talking a very small sprinkle. Very small. So small. I measured it out. And then I'm like, I just want to cross over now. Laughing cow cheese, which again is a franken food that could affect your weight loss. So, now this is where the measuring comes. But guess what? Measuring's already done in the book for ya. Whoop. So, brown rice, 3 fourth cup. Quinoa, 3 fourth cup. Barley, 3 fourth cup. Faro. Hey, I didn't know fa <gasps> Ooh, I'm going to look for some. I'm, I, that just opened up a couple recipes in my head that I can use faro because I didn't really realize it was on plan to make this video. So, three-fourth cup oatmeal. One and one-fourth cups cooked per serving. Whole grain bread. Two pieces. Uh, ba, ba, sprouted tortilla, which I've never seen in store, but I heard they exist. Whole grain flours. A nil, I've never seen in store, and I'm not buying on any of this uh, pasta, I barely never save it really. And then you'd be like limited. Like for side dish. Like not spaghetti sauce. Light rye, fiber, flexi, wasa crackers. I can only find like um, the multi-grain in my stores. So multi-grain, hearty, whole grain, and sourdough wasa crackers. Two to three crackers. The other ones I just mentioned were four crackers. Popcorn, four to five cups. Baked blue corn chips which I cannot find in stores or I don't try really hard you can have the like the Tostitos that's in the purple bag um, but again expensive because you can't find generics and I'm like broke so all fruits in moderate qu quantities so you know best to stick like one cup of watermelon or half a large banana or one small one so one tablespoon of fruit jelly like the um, the uh, all free ones like the polliners or something and uh or make that jelly belly stuff i've never made the jelly belly stuff all berries in liberal quantities uh all beans legume, leg uh, legumes it's lentils and split peas uh stick to one cup but if it's like a stew or chili you can have a little bit more uh which i i don't actually measure a lot of things Especially little soup. <sighs> um, I only pretty much measure brown rice most of the time. All veggies except for like regular white potatoes. Sweet potatoes, one medium sweet potato. Carrots bought with raw and cooked. Oil, again, five grams of fat, so that's one teaspoon of oil. I'm not going to mention the MCT oil thing because that will be a whole other video, I think. Limit nuts to garnish amounts or teaspoon nut butters. Then you can have the condiments like mustard, horseradish sauce, hot sauce, low fat dressings, mayo, soy sauce, vinegar, spices, but check for sugar. Unsweetened cocoa powder, nutritional yeast, all skim stock and broth prepared without sugar. Then you can have specialty items like gluky, whey powder, collagen, gelatin, all plant approved sweeteners, a baking blend, pressed peanut flour, you know, cognac noodles, unsweetened nut milks, 
And then here's personal choice items that could hurt your weight loss. Joseph's low carb wraps or breads, low carb wraps, fat free, ready whip, laughing cow cheeses, Dreamfields, pasta, which I'm pretty sure it's once a week for one cup. And that depends if your body can handle it. Oh, and the triple zero yogurt. A full one is an E, a half is an S. Uh, if it's the only protein source you have, you can have a full one for S, I think. Light Progresso soups, not the cream versions. They are acceptable. But again, personal choice items franken foods could hurt your weight loss so if you are stalled out you may want to check out how much you're doing that stuff like i try not to have a low carb meat uh wrap more than once or twice a week so my favorite um my favorite e-meals are chicken fried double rice trim healthy table gumbo trim healthy table Fajita soup. I've added rice to it to make it E. Uh, like a true E. Um, Brianna's stuffed pumpkin French toast. Uh, Brianna's baked oatmeal. Oatmeal to go cups. Uh, I want to say Montana Kitchen brownie batter oatmeal. Um, noom, 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 noom. Sorry, I'm brain brain does not work very well uh, oh also if you like some cream in your coffee on an email you can have remember you can have up to five grams of fat in your email so I measure out two tablespoons a half and half in my coffee but do not unless you don't want any other fat in your meal do not get the coffee house cr half and half that's 30% more cream. That's 4.5 grams of fat. So that's your entire fat in that. So that'd have to be your fat, only fat. Um, so yeah, you'll want to, uh, Mama, me go pee. then go pee baby. So you'll want to watch the fat grams on your half and half if you want to have it with the email, but that's part of your fat. So keep that in mind. Uh, Oh, I can't think of anything else I really like to eat. But then again, lentil soup. I come and go on that. Garbanzo bean soup. It's pretty good. I tried to make the china doll soup once and it was awful. But I forgot to soak it, I think. Then, you know, one of my easy emails is honestly deli sandwich. Oh, that pizza sandwich is pretty good from Trim Like Table. I struggle with emails a lot lately. If you'd asked me like two months ago, I've been like, I love all these E's. Psh. Now I'm like, Psh. but I love those five that I mentioned like right off the top of my head. Love them so much. Uh, man, I can't believe I cannot think of any more emails I love. Uh, I 